Hey y'all, yeah y'all know what it is. Um, just an update on what I've been doing to keep my weight down. I'm so excited, y'all just can't, I just can't, I'm just so excited. I was in the dumps really quick. I was in the dumps all week because I had to go to my doctor and they wanted me to do an updated MRI. So I went and got an MRI last week and they noticed some changes in my back again. They say it's small changes, but you know small changes leads to big changes, changes. So I was really upset and a little depressed about that and you know trying to figure out you know what am I doing you know so I just basically stopped doing weights I've said this before and I started back but I'm not going to be doing any more weights at all um like I said I had to go to the doctor to discuss it I'm gonna ask him but I, I mean just common sense that's probably the problem so I will not be doing any weights whatsoever I'm just going to do straight cardio so that's what I've been doing all week strictly cardio um really quick before I forget stop comparing yourself ladies to other people figures because you never know what that person has done to get to where they're at and um also before I forget um I follow a lot of personal trainers on Instagram so I'm just basically you know watching and looking at what they post and I was looking at and I always mention this name I was looking at Alexandria makeup artist shout out to her she's um losing a lot of weight so she had posted I think she was there whatever about what her trainer wanted her to do and it was like you know squats and toe touches and different things and what caught my eye was he wanted her to drink a gallon of water I'm like a gallon of water I'm like man that's a lot of water I drink a lot of water but it's not a gallon so I'm like you know what I'm gonna try that because my dumb butt um <laughs> was talking to my son about how do you do a um toe touch I said how do you do a toe touch in the military so he was showing me so my dumb ass did it and I did about four of them and I immediately felt a short pain go down my leg, my my bad leg where I have permanent nerve damage. So I was, yeah, I had to go hop and sit my butt down, and I, mean, I was in pain for like I'm still in pain from that. And it, today is um Thursday. I did that. I think Tuesday. Yeah, just don't even think. I can't bend. That's why I never hired a trainer. I can't do a lot of stuff. I can't basically do anything. That's why I'm like, I'm not going to hire a trainer and get my money away. I can't do all of this stuff. But I tried once again and forgot and, yeah, hurt my back. But basically, anyway, really quick. Well, not really quick, but um, what caught my eye was um, the gallon of water. So what I've been doing, I started Sunday, not with the water, but I started Sunday with my um, magnesium citrate. You guys know I talk about that a lot. You, you don't want, I mean, you don't want to do it all the time. But um, Sunday I did it because my stomach, y'all, I should have took a picture of it. It looked like I was pregnant. My daughter was like, Mama, what's wrong with you? Yeah, I had started back, not started back, but I ate some pork chops, y'all, for like, I think last week, like two days last week. I had fried pork chops and fried homemade fries, and I had made my little dish on the side, my little salad and my little tilapia. And I'm like, man, let me, let me taste this pork chop. But I haven't eaten a fried pork chop in over two years. Any kind of pork chop, not ate the pork chop, y'all. What I do that for? I, <laughs> I ate that damn pork chop. It was so good. And I ate those um, homemade fries I made, and I'm like, oh my god, it's so good. And I said so I ate like fried food like two days last week. And over the weekend, I went shopping with Lauren, and I stopped at Papa Do's, and they had the bread and butter. And I ate like one piece of bread and butter. I was drinking water, so that was good. But I ordered a salad, and I ordered um, some gumbo, and I can tell just. Every sip of gumbo I was eating and my stomach was like going out, bloop, 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 bloop. And I keep forgetting now, so I had to stop eating gumbo when I did my lifestyle change because the roux in gumbo is nothing but flour and oil. Yeah, so I have another way I make gumbo. I know you guys are asking me to do gumbo my way. I will be doing it, I promise soon. But let me get to the video. What I've been doing is um, when I come from the gym, every time I work out, I, I always have this in my workout bag. I drink this water. I don't know if this is like a lit, I don't know, liter, I don't know. I drink this water coming from the gym. And um, like I've said before, our water is not good water. You don't want to be drinking tap water. Um, if you're going to buy water out of the store, I always recommend like Evian or some type of spring water. I drink water from my um, refrigerator because I have a filter on it. So the water, just, it just tastes like nothing. It's just like clean, fresh water. So I drink this water coming from the gym. When I... um. Get home, I always eat, lately I've been eating egg whites. I do like maybe four eggs, these are large. So I do like four eggs, I just drain it and I just eat the whites. I season it only with garlic powder and some parsley. 
And with that, I've been eating, um, oh, I make a smoothie. I make a strawberry and banana smoothie with my blender my husband got me years ago from, from the Home Shopping Network. And this makes smoothies, milkshakes, crushed ice or whatever. So I just put like a handful of strawberries in here, one whole banana, and I just fill it up with water. Yes, not milk, almond milk, none of that stuff. I just use this plain water. It's like maybe right here. And it gives me a big container. Um, I, I, this, it filled it up this morning. I had this. So this here was full of um, smoothie. Okay, for lunch, I would usually do just a salad, a garden salad. And I will put some um, sunflower seeds in it. I had some, some other kind with salt in it, which is not good. So I went back and I got some more kind that has um, no salt. It's roasted sunflower kernels. If I'm not mistaken, I need to do my research, but I think, if I'm not mistaken, this may be a good nut, but I do like, it's a couple of, you know, a couple of sprinkles of nuts and this, a little bit of salad dressing, but I'm going to stop and try to eat this and this without salad dressing at all. And I'm still drinking water the whole time, and I will have a smoothie with this. Um, sometimes I will put like a handful of almonds on the side. And y'all, I don't know, what is this about these almonds? I got these almonds from Walmart. Roasted, no salt. I've eaten plenty of almonds, of course, but these are the best almonds I have ever had in my life. I don't know, they just taste so fresh. I mean, mmm. Wonderful. And why, by Walmart over there where the um, cooked foods and stuff is at. By the um, produce. And these, of course, y'all know almonds um, is the best nut you can eat. So I will eat that. And I bought this today. I'm going to try to um, use this blender. I don't know if I can. I should. I'm going to try to use this blender to start making my own, um, like, naked green machine smoothies at home. So I got this, which has spinach in it, baby bok choy, baby red and green chard. I'm going to try to do that with some kiwi and maybe add some apples in it or whatever I'm trying to make my own green machine smoothie now I was buying this because I saw everybody else getting in and it has a lot of sugar in it but it's natural sugar but still to me I just can't take it it's too sweet because I've you know changed my taste buds by just eating healthy or whatever a lot of sweets that I don't eat anymore but this is just like super sweet I have to dilute it with water if I'm going to drink it, so, but to me, this is a good alternative, but of course, making it, make it, making it yourself is always better, so trying to make it yourself and put it in a container or whatever you want to drive around or whatever, with something healthy, I would suggest you do that, but as far as the water, what I do, you guys, this um, picture, uh, the gallon mark is right here, but like I said, I drink this already, so I will fill this up to like maybe right here. And I don't work, you guys, so it's easy for me. I sit this on my side table in my room. I pour water in here, and I just watch TV or whatever. Back and forth from Facebook to Instagram, I just sip water. When it's empty, I just pour water. Before I know it, this container is gone. So I'm just so excited, you guys. Just drinking a gallon of water a day. That has made my stomach go down so much, y'all. I'm telling you. My husband, he just told me. He said, I, I've noticed it, too. And I noticed it. I'm, I'm so, man, I should have took a picture, y'all. My stomach was out there. My stomach was bloated. It's just like, I'm just so excited. And just to change it, just drinking water, a gallon. So for breakfast, I'm, I drink like some green tea also. And my dinner always is like tilapia. I'm trying to eat more chicken breast, but I don't, I'm tired. I don't like chicken no more. So I eat a lot of tilapia and, I, and vegetables, or shrimp and vegetables. Um, I would eat this whole container. Sometimes I would eat half of it, and um, that, that would be my dinner. Do this, I have to do what I can do because, again, I was trying to do toe touches and stuff. That stuff hurt my back, crunches hurt my back. So um, I see a lot of ladies. Um, shout out to Pretty Girl Angie on, on Instagram. She was um, showing this waist, waist clincher she had got. And I can't do stuff like that. My back is just that sensitive. I was, I was told by my surgeon to never wear back braces or tight anything around my back. And that's why you guys never see me wearing belts. That's why you never see me wearing jeans. I mean, I have jeans that fit me, but sometimes, of course, they, you know, dig into my side, into my stomach, and 
it, it's, it's instant pain. I, I, just, I can't explain it, but that's how my back is. So I, that's why I wear a lot of tights and um, maxi dresses and stuff. And um, I think I've mentioned everything. Hope this video's not too long, but uh, I just want to share with you guys what I've been doing. I'm going to try today and tomorrow. I'm going to try to just juice and drink smoothies in my water all day. I'm trying. I'm gonna try not to eat any solid foods or anything. Just smoothies, water, and my green smoothies today and tomorrow, just to see if I see a little bit more um, change in my stomach. But um, yeah, I'm just so excited. I, I'm just grinning like. Like I found out the, the secret cure to weight loss, but water is the key. Water and working out. So let me go, y'all. Um, I gotta go do some more videos. So, ahala.